Hey everybody, my name is Josh RV Nerd and at 4,800 pounds, plus or minus, depending on how it's equipped, this is the very cool and very popular Rockwood Mini Light 2205S here at Halet RV. Let's take a quick flash through this because it is a beauty. So if you start with the 19 FBS Geo Pro Rockwood, you go up a little bit, you get the 2109S Rockwood Mini Light. You go up a little bit bigger, and that's where this one comes in. Compared to the 2109S, we get a floor flush slide with a true theater seat, a true queen bed, and all of that good equipment that you always expect out of a Rockwood Mini Light, like the Goodyear Endurance radials, tire pressure monitoring. You'll see we've got this one outfitted with a 12 volt fridge that comes equipped from the factory with an impressive 190 watt roof solar package and factory installed inverter. So this is capable of camping in parks, off grid, half ton towable, big SUV towable, just about anywhere you wanna go. And I've always said, if you're thinking retirement grade, Rockwood should definitely be on that list. There is no more successful uh, long-term lightweight brand than Rockwood in the industry. I don't think that's an accident. Their service records are a big part of that. This is a sweet rig. I think you're gonna like what you see. And that's not just the sun in my eyes. Might be the future you have with this Rockwood. Bright future. See what I did there? It's the best I got. Dad jokes all day long. It's all I got, guys. And you'll hear me say this a few times through this video, but there's different ways you can build Rockwoods. The wood tones, the fabrics, the flooring, those could all change. And I don't just mean for like supplier changes. I mean, you have options there and we tend to build them different ways here at Halet RV, different color palettes, packages, etc. cetera. Uh, so, you know, the best thing you can always do, well, I mean, I guess the best thing you could do is, is visit Halet RV and see them in person because seeing is definitely believing. But short of that, hit that subscribe button on these videos so that you can see the other Rockwoods come in and always get a good bead on what they have going on because sometimes they make mid-year changes and I tend to do one video per floor plan per year with very few exceptions. So I mentioned that this is like a 2109S on steroids. If you just look at them from the aerial view, they're darn, darn similar. You got a front walker on bed. They got a side, uh, you know, slide over here. The difference is this one, the 2205, is like a little bit bigger in every way. For instance, the 2109 cannot have theater seating right here. Um, it cannot have a true queen bed. It's a little smaller. It's lighter. It's less money. This one is bigger and more feature focused. So there is an exchange between the two. It's not just that one is better. It's that one is bigger, but the other weighs less and costs less. So, you know, there, there's things there. That being said, this is a popular model, and, but we already knew that at Halet RV. This is Rockwood's version of what Cougar calls a 22 RBS here at Halet's, and it is a rockin' model. They, the Rockwood and the Cougar both do a lot of similar things. They do some different things. They're each still different a little bit in their own way. We'll get a separate video put together for you on the uh, Cougar as soon as we can get one on hand. Of course, by the time you're watching this, it's possible we already have one on hand. Let's start cracking open some storage. And you'll find all hidden hinge cabinets through this. It's all pocket screwed. It's all stuff designed to hold together long term. And that's why I'm saying if you're thinking retirement grade, you can think Rockwood. Now they've got just a vent up there. It's just a passive vent, not like with a fan or anything. But with that light right next to it, if you wanted to upgrade that, it is very simple and easy to do. That's stuff we can do for you here at Halet RV, no problem. Of course, there are privacy shades, especially for that front windshield. Over here... Uh, like you've got dual side stands. This one uh, has some outlets on the front and you actually see a sticker on it. It says inverter powered. And we'll talk more about inverters, but if the RV has an inverter or if you choose to add one, that would be uh, you know where that inverter line would be run. So if you want to run a CPAP machine just off your battery overnight boondocking, Rockwood is now capable of performing uh, little functions like that. Whereas on this side, you see that you have yourself a handy little dresser drawer. Now, the good news is that's not the only dresser drawer you have in this RV, because just like it's 2109S Little Brother, the foot of this thing kicks up and there's like a storage chest down here. And it flips all the way up for easy access, thanks to a pair of gas struts there. Um, you can also see the aluminum structure going on here. Basically, anything Rockwood builds in-house, they're going to build with aluminum. So the bed cage is made out of aluminum. The RV structure is made out of aluminum. Um, this RV does not have a dinette. If it did, yeah, guess what? Aluminum skeleton. And I like the two-tier kind of storage system they have going on here. You have like a storage trunk on top and then triple additional dresser drawers down below. 
and you're not fighting with the mattress when you want to get in there because I mean like I said it really gets up and gets out of the way now there's a little nudge of storage over there below the entertainment center and here is another variance versus the 2109s you had that electric space heating fireplace right there now the good news is that countertop extension someone's gonna say uh does that interfere with the fireplace no no it does not and no it doesn't get damaged because that's the same kind of solid surface material that you'd find in like a big rockwood signature fifth wheel now i'm standing at the theater seat position right now to give you an idea that you have easy entertainment viewing on this one that tv can pivot around this is actually one of the rare floor plans you could even watch tv from the toilet if you are so inclined if you want to have a little toilet tv that's up to you not my personal thing but you know to each their own and even though this is kind of what i call like a purist couples camper it does have a set of privacy curtains if because it, it's an open concept it's a wide open design they do that to make the rv look and feel bigger if you kind of like what you see but you're like man i wish it had a bedroom door look at a 2511 s rockwood here at halid rv or you know check out our channel we got videos for some that will give you a full private front bedroom the RV is going to feel smaller because it's closed off. So there, again, there's a push and a pull. There's always a positive and negative to anything. And flip it around a little bit. Like if you got out of bed in the morning, this could be what it, you look like. And again, that TV can pivot around for some nice, easy viewing. Now, Rockwood does some cool things with their entertainment. A lot of brands have dropped down to giving you just a stereo AM FM with Bluetooth and an HDMI setup. Well, Rockwood's doing all that, still including DVD function. Jayco's one of the other few brands that's still doing that very consistently. And you see, once again, if this RV is equipped with the uh, Rockwood solar package, which automatically includes an inverter right here, you could run that TV if you're off-grid if you want. Understand you tax the batteries when you do that, so it's not like you have unlimited, indefinite use of all that stuff. Obviously, you're a little dependent on sunshine. Down below here on the right-hand side is the switch for the Wi-Fi Ranger, which is basically... Uh, like a like a router you might have in your house, but built into the camper. And if the solar package is included on the one that you're looking at, that's where the charge controller is going to be located. And it also has almost like a digital gas tank, but for your battery reserves. That's telling me I've got 12.7 volts of battery uh, left remaining. Now that is with all of the lights on. So understand that when you have lights on, those, those monitors, they live monitor things. If I flip these lights off, that number would actually jump. A few minutes ago, when I started doing this, when I was running all the slides and stuff, that was at 12.4 volts. So I've just got a simple little car jumper battery box on the front, and it is actively charging my box back up. So instead of losing juice, I'm actually gaining it, which I think is very cool. We'll see the kitchen in a second, but a quick mention, mini lights do not use heat vents in the floor. Um, this is not a Four Seasons Arctic camper or something. That is one of the differences between this and something like a 22 RBS Cougar. Cougar actually is zero degree rated. Cougar is also a little heavier and a little more expensive as a result because it takes a lot of time and effort to get things there. But they can both have the exact same 15,000 BTU air conditioner. It's standard on a Cougar. It's optional here. And that is the quieter running Coleman air conditioner, by the way. And I just love all the consistency points on Rockwood. So whether it's a mini light, an ultralight, or a signature, they're basically built the same. It's just kind of like, think of it like a car with a trim package. Like, say a Ford Explorer. You could get it built like four or five with different trim levels and then add some options to it. That's kind of how Rockwood operates. Like the hidden hinges, the pocket-screwed cabinetry, the hardwood framed out doors and, and cabinet door fronts, you know, it's... The stuff that they do there is not stuff you commonly associate across the board with lightweights, especially in this smaller class. Pound for pound, dollar for dollar. Ugh, the other brands that we carry here at Halo RV don't like when I say stuff like this, but I don't know that anybody else gives you a bigger value than a Rockwood. But they're, man, it's it's tricky because like Freedom Express, J Feather, they build some other things in this size and this category that are also very sharp and very awesome. And they all kind of, they got their own way about it. But solid surface countertops. Everybody else is doing like thermal foil. Solid surface here is exceptionally rare. There might be one other guy doing it, but not a whole lot of them. Um, and by the way, outlets. There are some easy reach outlets right over here just around the side on that stand. They're not under the overhead cabinets anymore. They made them where they're easier to get to. That is a stainless double sink, by the way, but thankfully it has a split cover, so you can kind of use that a la carte as needed. And I love the extra large drawers below that. I mean, that is the thing. With this floor plan, 
Square foot per capita, you are hard pressed to find a model that has more storage per square foot than this thing. Uh, the Cougar 22 RBS version of this same layout, really the one that came before this Rockwood, maybe has more, but mm, man, it, it's arguable. So over here on a Cougar, it'd just be a huge closet, but in this Rockwood, you can see they put the fridge right by the door, which is nice for kind of easy in and easy out. And we are looking at an optional refrigerator. With Rockwoods now, you standard have an eight cubic foot two-way gas electric fridge freezer, and it's great. It works just fine. But you have the option of going to a 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt DC compressor fridge. But with Rockwood, and this is very uncommon, when you do that, you automatically gain a 190 watt solar panel and an inverter. And the thing is, it's only a few hundred dollars to get all that stuff. You're getting more cold storage, faster cooling capacity, and enough solar to be able to offset the battery use of this fridge very easily. Now, those are adjustable, removable shelves. You saw the hanging uh, hooks up above. And then down here, it's just a nice wide open shoe garage. And I'm telling you, that is handy dandy right there, folks. Thing is, I said the Cougar has a bigger closet over here. But the Cougar puts their refrigerator next to the slide, where Rockwood has an additional dedicated pantry. So even if you do use that rear area there as extra hanging space or a coat closet, you still have pantry space. Now you might be wondering, why is that paneled off? You'll see the same thing under the sink in the bathroom. Basically, there's stuff down there like the water pump, maybe a water heater. They want to give you access to it without being able to damage it. And you might be wondering, why did they put a Flappy Doodle 37,000 series over here? And by the way, it is a legal requirement. Twice. You always flip it twice. Three times if you're feeling froggy. Then you hop on over. But what I'm getting at is uh, that is there for the bathroom door. So the bathroom door doesn't go flinging open, slamming against anything and, and causing any kind of damage or stuff like that. Um, let me back up a little bit here, close everything up, give you one pass uh, back through before we hit the bathroom. It's such a good clean look in this, isn't it? When everything's all closed up, like it got kind of cluttered for a second there and then it closes up nicely. By the way, that outlet down there on this floor plan is also inverted. Um, or inverter wired, effectively. The trick with that inverter stuff is because Rockwood builds so many floor plans, it's very hard to consistently say the inverter will always run this, this, and this. They're going to always try to have one by the bed for the TV. And, uh, you know, they do what they can where they can. It just sort of depends on the model in question. Now, this is not the biggest bathroom in the world, but even at my size... I, I, I would have no problem in here. I'm camping. I'm not living in it. I'm okay with making some, some concessions. Where you don't have to make concessions, though, Rockwood's vent fans. They always use these bigger vent fans up here. Plus, you can see the fins sticking through that, maybe. Uh, the roof vent covers. Something else Rockwood's just long been good about. They've, I mean, they've just been known in the industry for having good, dedicated storage in their bathrooms. And that's something that so, so many brands will forego. That is a porcelain foot flush stool, by the way. And I don't have the most room of any RV I've ever had in here in terms of leg room. Uh, and I'm 6'3", with long legs, keep in mind. But again, I could make it work. Um, the RV has a 6.5 foot sidewall and then a mini vaulted ceiling. The good news is that with the way Rockwood builds their roof, and we'll talk more about that when we go upstairs on the roof there, it still allows me to be able to stand in the shower. Yes, my head does need to be in the bubble a little bit, but I never felt like I was hitting my head on stuff. I never feel uh, cramped in these. So again, for a smaller trailer, a weekend run arounder, I would have no issues with something like this. Um, little Rockwood doing Rockwood things, the extras, guys. And there's a couple in this bathroom, like we saw the storage, the bigger fan. And then the easy uh, to remove and clean little like, you know, body wash and, and soap kind of holder there, shampoo holder. Um, you know, I don't need a lot of hair care products, uh, as you saw from my balding hairline, but, uh, you know, my wife does, so she would appreciate having those there. All Rockwood trailers and fifth wheels have the shower miser system. So once again, if you're going to be off grid, that's going to be very friendly. And I love how a lot of the features that were really almost geo pro exclusive, like solar inverter, uh, shower miser are making their way through more of the Rockwood family. Something else I like. They put a big sink in here, which eats up some counter space, but they give you this extra little shelf right here. And once again, it's those details and those extras that make me always appreciate what Rockwood does. And by the way, if you want to open or close that slide easily, 
The control panel's right over here by the door, and it's up high where the kiddos can't get it, or a big Doberman couldn't bump a button, which I've seen happen. I, I've seen a dog melt somebody's water heater element. It, it was like a farmer's commercial. <laughs> we, we know a thing or two, we've seen a thing or two. Anyway, um, all the buttons are here. I like the Rockwood still gives us physical switches, but they also are now including one, uh, uh, one control. So you can sync your phone to this panel and anything you can do off here, you can do off your phone, including things like activate or deactivate water heater on electric or gas, 12 volt tank heaters if added to the RV, slides, lights, all kinds of really handy stuff. There's a lot of really neat features that you can get on that. But if you're not into all the fancy techno babble jive, no big deal, man. Just walk over, push a button just like you always have your entire life. Having about 99.9% .9 access to everything in the RV when the slide is closed like we're looking at right now, also beneficial. Now the bathroom beside us, the refrigerator behind us, we've already seen those. Those can obviously be accessed, they're right by the door. And with the slide closed, the only thing you're not gonna really be able to get to entirely is you will have to somewhat climb over the bed a little bit to get there. And then you'll get to two out of three of the dresser drawers, no sweat. Uh, well, the, the left one and the center one, you'll be able to open partially. It's not exactly the most convenient thing, but otherwise, you know, you don't even necessarily need to open the slide to use this floor plan. It's just, <laughs> it's going to make it a whole lot better. And really the first thing I need to mention while we are out here is the different exterior options that you have with Rockwood. This is what's called the standard exterior. It has a champagne sidewall, and that's not a black nose. It's just the way the sun's hitting it. It's like a really deep, kind of sparkly chocolate. I don't know what you want to call that, but sparkly chocolate. Uh, it's in the distance a little bit, but if you look over there, you can see a white and gray Rockwood. That will be the optional exterior, and you'll find more of that white and gray exterior here at Halid RV. It's not what we bring in exclusively, though. I'll probably mention that a few times because you'll, you'll hear us talk about uh, you know, different options on different RVs. The thing with Rockwood is you can build them so many different ways. There's never the run, the one right way to have them in stock. Uh, so we, we kind of bring them in a, a couple different setups. No matter what though, you've got the exact same all aluminum structure. The only part of this RV that's not laminated is actually the floor. It's still an aluminum structure, but they do a heavy duty 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor decking on top of their aluminum studs, which is the exact same uh, kind of floor construction that you get in something like a Jayco Eagle North Point Pinnacle. You know, the big fancy full-time rated fifth wheels. You're getting the same floor construction here. And that is an automotive front windshield. Not just a window, it is a higher grade of glass. And a couple other things here. I like what they're doing up by their power tongue jack and, and pardon my mess of wires. I had to hook the battery up to this thing to turn the lights on inside. Forgot to pull that out of the shot. Standard power tongue jack used to be optional. And then a little plug buddy here. We're not using it right now, obviously, but you've got a little spot where you can keep your seven way plug and your safety chain hooks like up out of the dirt. Now, as long as we're right up close and personal here, a couple things I want to look at. First of all, if I get right down below this thing, you're not going to see much because these always have an enclosed belly. One of the available options that you have on these though are 12 volt tank heaters. And that's something that we put on our Rockwoods almost exclusively across the board. That's one of those things you'll, you can generally depend on finding here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And this has a massive pass-through compartment. We'll probably come see it again from the other side, but what I wanted to show you over here, easier angle to get to see the, uh, they use magnets to kind of keep their, uh, you know, your like leveling jack handles and stuff up out of the way and just Rockwood doing Rockwood things. They make sure that that's not gonna swing around in the breeze with a handy little magnet latch. Now, right behind that, LED lighting. And you'll see that all the way around Rockwoods, not just the tail lights like some brands, but they do it all the way. Rockwoods also standard do a frameless window package. But on the side of the slide out, you have max airflow windows for cross breeze. So the frameless windows look smexy. They might get a little bit less airflow, but remember that XL vent fan that we saw inside? It can really help overcome that potential deficiency, I guess you could call it. Now over here in the corner, they've got a nice kind of condensed spot where you can hook up all your cable TV and your water hookups and your black flush and all that. Rockwood even includes an extra thing here, an antifreeze inlet, so that when it does come time to give her the old pink drink of sleep and put her away for the season, if you're, you know, in a colder climate, I know some folks down in Florida don't have to deal with that, but. You know, in Michigan it might get cold, but we also stay above sea level, so 
I don't know. It's a 50-50 thing. I joke, obviously. But uh, it makes it so you don't got to take a jug of pink sticky antifreeze through your RV. Now, down here, cool thing Rockwood does. Um, they have a basically like a kind of like a four-wheel independent torsion axle and torsion suspension system. And what that's going to do is significantly enhance your stability at higher speeds and if you're going around sharp corners like you know those curly q exits on the highway it will help this trailer track nice and flat and true behind you instead of trying to lean and pull you off the road which is obviously a scary prospect up top we're backup camera ready we'll get on the roof in a minute to detail those features uh standard spare tire on these yeah, even if it was optional we would always apply one here at halid rv and for a couple seasons now they've been doing their 300 pound rated uh hitch on the back so if you want to add some accessories uh, like a little cargo pod or a bike rack or even a small generator tray. There's a lot of different things you can do with that. And there's a lot of different ways you can use your RV. That's a very flexible feature. There's even like little hammock features that you can install into those. Although I would recommend being very careful with the weight allowances on those. If you're like me and you had a big breakfast. Now look at some patio features for you. The biggest and most obvious of which is that power awning that has almost literally jumped out at us. Push of a button, rolls it in or out. The button's on the inside of the RV, so if it's raining, you gotta roll the awning up. You don't even gotta put on pants. Very handy in the middle of the night. Um, <clears throat> trust me. Anyway, it is also a two-finger easy tilt awning, and as we come over here by the door, what's interesting, Rockwood is using a friction hinge door. They still have a holdback installed, which almost nobody does, and that's typical Rockwood doing Rockwood things. Like, you see the little plastic guy sticking down right there. Rockwood always does the stuff that you find other brands doing and then they do more like they that's just that's just typical them now obviously they're also using like a luxury fifth wheel stable step the kind that'll support itself very nice if maybe you got a bad shoulder or something like that or you don't want to accidentally fall on your feet or hit your kid now you notice how the feet i've got purposely extended very differently this uses the new i call it kind of like drawbridge style system so we drop the step down then once it's hanging down there this is all it takes and bam Suddenly, we've got stable step action engaged. Now, you'll only find that, I believe, on their triple step variety. The uh, two steps, I've still seen some of the adjustment pegs on there. On the smaller, like geos and stuff, that could be changing, though. Uh, that could just be supplier related, regardless. Over here, we saw the table inside, but nothing says you got to leave it there. You can easily take it outside if you are so inclined. And one of the other nice things here... In the 2021 generation, Rockwood has updated to Goodyear Endurance radials, just like the Jayco's that we have here at Halet RV. So 87 mile an hour rated. And Rockwood also includes a tire pressure monitoring system. And what's nice is it doesn't like have to Bluetooth to your uh, phone, because phones, man, all the apps, it feels like when you're going down the road, your phone's kind of like beep, 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 like it's always chirping at you. It gets distracting. That's the opposite of what you want. You want to be able to focus on the road. So it has its own individual monitor that your co-pilot can very easily monitor for you. Uh, the TV inside, if you want, can dismount and come out here, or you can get a separate TV, and it would uh, mount against there the uh, shade from the <laughs> awning, not being a little friendly to us. And then uh, over here, this uh, includes a very nice little outdoor griddle setup. So if you want to, you can hook that right up there and get yourself some outdoor griddling going on or bring your own cooker. Uh, now, obviously, just saw some quick sample footage of a different Rockwood, but just to give you an idea what that looks like, and then you can obviously extrapolate over here. Now, up front, they give us one massive pass-through compartment. And this is usually something that you find on the Rockwood Ultralight series. And here you're finding it on a mini light because the 2205S is sort of like a, it's an in-betweener. It is technically a member of the mini light family, but sort of like this, it actually has some qualities from the Ultralight series you don't find on all of the other mini lights. Now, a lot of RVs have swing open baggage doors like this, but not a lot of manufacturers have the presence of mind to make sure that you still have a, uh, you know, a magnet holdback. Now, a couple other cool things. Also similar to Jayco, Rockwood has adopted a key alike system. So the key for our entry door is the same as that key right there, which is not the 751 baggage door key that everybody and their brother has. So they have enhanced our cargo uh, security here. And 
the uh, simple side mount solar prep plug right over here. Uh, we will talk more about solar when we get on the roof in just a minute, but what's nice is Rockwood's giving us dual kind of solar setups. Factor in some things like the larger 30 pound propane tanks that you don't usually find on little trailers, and just a dynamite look. And uh, I can't fault you for liking what you see here. Now remember again on that skin, this is one of two exterior skin options that you might find here at Halo RV. You will find us doing a lot of the white with uh, graphite accents, but um, we won't be doing that exclusively. I'm glad this came in so you can see what else we might be able to offer you here at Halet RV. Just in case you're curious what the awning looks like, it's got kind of a nice little gradient sort of fade to it. But the biggest reason I'm up here is show you around the roof. This is, there's something about Rockwood's laminated roofing. It is like one of the, the sturdiest underfoot with the least flex of anything. And I mean, I walk on Little trailers, big fifth wheels, and everything in between. Rockwoods always feel the sturdiest under my feet. Now again, we are looking at an RV that had that 12 volt fridge upgrade, which goes with Rockwood automatically hand in hand with an impressive 190 watt raised panel high efficiency uh, uh, power system here. It's the uh, uh, Go Power Overlander package. And the idea here is it can run that fridge pretty much indefinitely. I mean, you're gonna have to leave like lights, fans, all running, blazing all the time to overcome uh, the demands of that panel. Now, obviously, that's assuming direct sunlight. If it is going to be a little shady, uh, or you know, you get a lot of cloud coverage, well, that's going to naturally diminish the effect of that. But remember, you still have a side prep plug. You can put a portable panel on the ground and wiggle it around in case the RV's parked in the shade. So keep that in mind too. Um, little things, and Rockwood's not alone in this, but they're always really heavy-handed in their uh, roof sealants, which is nice. They really, really lay this stuff down. They're not trying to be minimal there. You might notice you're, you're not overtly seeing the Wi-Fi Ranger anymore. That's because basically it's been integrated into the TV antenna now. So that antenna is your LTE Wi-Fi access point thing. Well, LTE ready, but Wi-Fi signal repeating access point. Um, over here, you notice too how they have the skylight. I mentioned this inside, I think, but it's it's cocked at like a funky 45 degree angle. That is because that is a more optimal position on the inside of the RV to give you maximum head clearance. But most travel trailers can't do that because most travel trailers don't have the laminated roofing that a Rockwood has. It takes a little extra effort to get there. Then, of course, the max air vent covers that Rockwood's just become known for for so many years now over that big XL vent fan inside. Whew. So there's a lot of good qualities here in these mini lights. And thing is, there's a lot of good qualities on a lot of RVs. They all have their special things that really make them stand out. Overall, Rockwood has proved themselves the most popular in the laminated lightweight category for many, many consecutive seasons now. It doesn't necessarily mean they're the best one for you. Could be. If you want to really kind of compare them against some other great things that are out there, give us a call here at Halet RV. And if this one looks like it's the right one for you, let's get you camping. Because we do hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package, deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.